Are you ever looking for a wonder kid in Football Manager only to find that one of your rivals has already signed them before you could get there? Well, in today's video, I'll be trying to put an end to that by giving you a list of wonder kids to sign as quickly as you can before they get signed by the other clubs in world football. Hi everyone, Jake here. Welcome to the FM Scout channel. And as mentioned today, we'll be looking at wonder kids that you need to sign before it's too late. These are wonder kids that will often have loads of interest in them at the start of your save. And if you don't pick them up, someone else likely will. So make a note of these guys and at the start of your save, scout them all, see if any of them are worth signing for you. And hopefully you can find yourself a gem or two before it's too late. If you do end up enjoying this video, don't forget to smash the like button for us. We'd massively appreciate it subscribe for more and comment down below which wonder kid you always sign at the start of your saves and with that being said let's get in to player number one now i've created a full team here but just to let you know we have not got a goalkeeper in today's list and we're starting off with a player who can play pretty much anywhere but we're going to call him the right back of this team even though he's not really just for the sake of the thumbnail having a nice little structure to it we are looking at kian fitz jim currently representing the Netherlands. He plays his football for Ajax or at least their younger side and he has loads of interest in him at the start of this save. West Ham, Tottenham, Man U, Leicester, Arsenal and Chelsea all after this guy and as soon as you put a bid in chances are they will too. You can see why though he's a player with great passing range, good first touch and very strong mental attributes for a player who is only 18. His physicals are nicely well rounded and he's very versatile. You could use him as a right back or a right wing back if you you wanted to but realistically he can play pretty much anywhere you want so check him out and give him a sign before these guys get to it moving into center back and we have club tijuana's mexican defender victor guzman Victor is someone who has great defensive capabilities while also being able to play the ball very well with good technique vision and passing. Decent with his left foot as well, so he's not completely one-footed. And everywhere else he's okay, he's not the world's strongest, not the world's quickest or the world's tallest, but in terms of technical ability and his mental ability too, to be honest, he has got an abundance of it. And at the age of 20, he's probably never going to be the next Virgil van Dijk, but maybe for a lower mid-table Premier League club, he could be a great choice. And you can see why clubs like Palace, Fulham, Leeds and Southampton all want him at the start of your save and in PSG as well. A lot of competition there but for a few million pounds definitely worth trying to sign. And our other centre-back is Spanish 20-year-old Jose Massa. He plays for Sporting CP out in Portugal and is wanted by Dortmund at the start of this save. A left-footed centre-back is always something that is highly coveted in the football world, particularly when they're good with the ball at their feet, as Massa is here. A good tackler as well, physically very well-rounded, six foot one, and nice mental attributes on top of that. You could see why Dortmund would be interested. There's a lot of upside here, and even though the initial investment will be quite a lot he already has a lot of ability straight away so it's not like you're completely throwing it into a gamble even if he doesn't turn out to be world class you'll likely make a profit on that 10 million pound investment before we look at player number four i'd like to let you guys know i do have my own channel linked in the description down below if you want to come check that out i'll be massively massively grateful we've got a new series starting soon and some one-off rebuilds so if you've never checked it out come on over see what you think and i'm hoping you'll enjoy it but let's get back to our list and we have one of the more well-known options in this team. It's Amar Dedic, the Bosnian left-back slash right-back who plays for RB Salzburg. Now, he is right-footed, but is natural at left-back. That's why his ideal position is supposedly the inverted wing-back, but he could easily be trained to play on that other side. Very strong physically, right from the off. Great mental attributes as well, and his technicals are pretty good. Whilst he isn't the best crosser, everything else is at a nice level. You'd maybe want his vision and jumping reach to go up a little bit, but for a 19-year-old, these actually attributes are perfectly fine. He's wanted by Brighton, Palace and Dortmund in this save and you could see him playing for a team of Dortmund's level easily once fully developed. Moving in midfield we head over to the Italian divisions and to Venezia where we find the American 20 year old Gianluca Busio. He can play a few positions in the spine of the pitch but particularly midfield or defensive midfield are his ideal areas. He's wanted straight away by Arsenal, United, Inter and Juventus so lots of Champions League quality teams 
are after this man. They are also now in Serie B as well, so there's going to be a good opportunity for him to leave this club. Good all-round attributes, a very good passer. Nothing is too amazingly stand out, but he's got a great base set of attributes to build up from there to become a star for your side. Possibly the most highly coveted player in this list, though, is Mohamed Diamande, who is wanted by not just some of the top Premier League sides, but also Bayern Munich and PSG as well. Playing for FC Norseland out in the Norwegian divisions, he is a phenomenal talent and ignore the star ratings here because we're managing Manchester City, so everyone is being compared to players at our club. And of course, these potential ratings and ability ratings can vary within a range. So make sure in your save, you give some of these players a scout, no matter what it says on this page up here. But... I mean, if we're looking purely on his attribute talent, he has got everything you'd want from an attacking midfielder. Physically, he's quick, he's agile, he's got all that he needs in that area. A good passer of a football as well, who makes good decisions and is composed, good first touch, dribbling, finishing corners, crossing, whatever you want, he has got it all. Now, nothing is of an elite level, but they're all at a very good level to build up from. Diamande could easily become a great player. It's a surprise he has no caps for the Ivorian national team yet, but I'm sure it won't be long for a player who clearly has bags and bags of talent. Moving into the forward positions now, and we have a left-sided winger or right-sided, depending on what you'd be interested in. It's another player playing in the Norwegian divisions. This time, it's for Bodo Glimt. It is none other than Joel Movuka. A 19-year-old Norwegian, under-20 capped international, wanted by PSG Milan, Inter and Juve. Lots of raw pace on that side. Great dribbling ability and flair with good technique as well. He's never going to be someone that scores loads of goals with eight finishing, but as an inverted winger, crossing the ball in, using his pace to beat his opponents on the wing, cutting inside on that right foot, he could definitely be a great pickup. His value isn't too high either, and you'll notice that with a lot of these players, hence why there's so many clubs sniffing around, because the value is clearly way less than the player that you'd be getting. So all of these guys, if they've got interest in them, you can assume they're at least a half-decent deal, and Mavuka is definitely more than that. What a signing he would be. The cheapest player in this list, though, is Maurice Krattenmacher. He plays for Untenhatching in the German divisions. I've probably butchered all of that pronunciation, but straight away, the 16-year-old who is on a youth contract is wanted by Borussia Dortmund. I've just spoken to the club, and they'd want a maximum of £190,000, which is an incredible deal if we were to get that over the line for a player that you wouldn't even need to think about, and he would still make you a profit eventually. At 16 years of age, he's pacey. He's a good finisher, good dribbler, good technique, passing, off the ball work. Nothing is going to be of a crazy level. He's maybe not at the level of some of the others that we've looked at, but he's also younger. He's also a lot cheaper, and therefore there's a lot more upside to this guy and a lot more potential profit or star potential if he works his way into your first 11. On to our final two players now, and we go to the Italian divisions yet again to Brianza, where you will find 18-year-old Samuel Vignato. If you've got the correct name fix on, I think they'll be down as Monza, but he is wanted by some of the biggest clubs in the world. He's a great option out wide, and I've spoke about him in previous videos. If you're looking for an 18-year-old with a great base set, who can play a variety of positions, then Vignato would be your man. He has an older brother who used to be a wonder kid in FM, and now he's taken over that mantle. About three to four million pounds for a quick wide player who's very direct and can finish well and great mental attributes too. He definitely should be on your radar when you start up a new save. And finally, we finish off with our forward. It's the Colombian 18-year-old playing in the MLS for Chicago Fire, Jean Duran. Now, he's wanted at the start of the save by St. Louis City, and I don't feel like they're going to be the biggest competition in the world if you're a European club, so definitely check out Duran if you haven't already, because you might be able to pick him up for six, seven million pounds, a player who's very well rounded physically, six foot one, and he's strong as well as quick, a good finisher who can dribble well, really nicely balanced mental attributes too. At the age of 18, he's got a lot of room left to grow and could become a great striker of a European elite quality if you can pick him up. So definitely worth taking a look at. And that's 10 players now, a full team minus a goalkeeper that you should be looking at at the start of your save so that you don't lose out on them. But I want you to let me know in the comments who you would put in this list. Who do you always try and sign straight away? Don't forget to smash the like button for us as well. Subscribe for more and check out my channel linked in the description. But most of all, have a great day, everybody. And I'll see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.